What's up you guys, it's Ladonna, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. If you have not seen any of my videos, go take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. For my loyal subscribers and followers, thank you guys so much again for supporting me. I have partnered with my PA Box to bring you guys an early Christmas present. Yay! super excited about this app. It brought this to me and I was like, man, if I had this when I was applying to PA school, my life would have been so much easier. And I knew that you guys would benefit from it. So that's why I wanted to make a video on it and bring it to you all. Right now, it's only an app. It's only on like a mobile version, but the desktop version is coming soon, okay? So you're gonna have to go to mypabox.com. You're gonna have to set up all your, your information, who you are, your email address, all of that stuff. You're gonna put all of that stuff in initially and then it's gonna bring you to a dashboard and so that's what this is right here the dashboard so on the dashboard you have like your six main things now these are the things that you're like typically worried about when you're applying to PA school like your GPA your GRE score your healthcare hours um, and your shadowing hours those are like your major major things we have this central hub where you can actually add all that information in and then from that like this is like the major part of what I really like about this app, okay? It is the school match. So it allows you to match with schools. In my video that I did prior, I did like the best hacks to help you get into PA school. And in that video, it talks about like, I made this really archaic Excel spreadsheet for you guys, where you can put in your healthcare hours, basically all this information here, but it's on Excel. And you yourself have to put that information in, like what the GRE score is for the particular school that you're interested in, and what the healthcare hours they um, want or are required, or you know what their average healthcare hours is. Well, my PA box makes this like a bazillion times easier because they allow all of that information is already put in for you. Like they've done all of the legwork for you, which is amazing because now you don't have to go to Google and be like, uh, PA schools in Maryland or, and then now go to all of those PA schools. All you have to do is go to the app and then go to school match. So right now there are zero schools that I'm matched to. I've already put in some information. Let me go back to the dashboard just so you can see like my kind of like fake grades that I put in and you know, my healthcare experience hours and things like that. And then my GRE, I put that in and I made like some random score that I had. And so that information you're gonna have to put in yourself. Now I go to school match and in the school match part, um, it allows you to break it down from the various different criteria. So I can go to only, let me say, you know, I live in Colorado, right? And I only want like schools in Colorado, California, maybe Georgia, and let's go ahead and say Maryland, right? So there are 30 schools in all right now with the current criteria that I have. So I can say if my they require a GRE or not, but all schools require a GRE. Um, you can say what the GRE score you want it to be is. And so like, let's say only schools that have a 3.5, let's say, no, let's say a 2.5. So right now with schools that allow you to apply with just a 2.5 GPA, there are two schools on my list, but I'm going to just make that like just regular. So I'm going to leave that alone. I still have 30 schools, healthcare hours. Let me put in schools that require that cuts my schools down to nine shadowing. Let's say school. I don't want any schools that require me to shadow. Let's say schools that cost 50,000 to 100,000. So now that has brought me down to one school. And so I can view my results. University of Colorado, I said I lived in Colorado, so University of Colorado is where I need to apply. And so here, it allows you to go to the University of Colorado. You get to see what in-state tuition is as opposed to out-of-state tuition. You look at their pass, um, their pants rate for their pants, which I just got. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, what are you doing? Hold up. Don't accept again. Don't F this up. <laughs> yeah. 
and then it tells you kind of what degree that they offer and things like that. So here is all of that stuff. You get to see like what their minimum GPA requirements are, what their prerequisites are. And depending on the courses that you have taken, some of these things will these things will light up. It says two of the following courses need to be completed. So I need to make sure that I have those courses. It makes it so easy for you. It tells you everything, what prerequisites need to have been completed within the last five years. And an amazing and really good thing about this app is the fact that they update this app pretty regularly. Information is very, very much relevant to what cycle you're in as opposed to like some of the other, other websites that are out there. Furthermore, if you see something that is actually like not um, accurate, they are very responsive. So you can email them and then after they verified the information that you're giving them that that information is accurate, they will update it within a matter of minutes. And also, you know, I'm a big component of do your own research. Even though this takes most of the legwork out for you, you still have to go and make sure that it's actually talking, like all of these things that it's talking about or all of this information that it has on here is actually correct. So they have the website here. You can go to the website and on this, on this um, particular app, it takes you directly to the school's website so you can verify all of this information that it's telling you which is good. So let me go back to my schools match again, and I'm gonna just go to all of the schools in Maryland, because you know, that DMV area is where it's at. <laughs> and I'll go to Iowa and just some random, like New Hampshire, oh, and let's do New York, because you know, they got a whole bunch of schools up there. So overall, let's say a science GPA of 2.5. How many schools? Wow, so that took my schools down from 30 to, uh, to 11. And then let's say they don't require the GRE because not everybody wants to take the GRE, right? And again, I mean, I don't really care about that. And this is also a really good one, accreditation status. So it allows you to choose. Are you looking at only schools with provisional, um, probationary, continued? Um, and I only want schools with continuing accreditation and here I get to see my results. So it's really only schools in New York. I can go back and edit the filter and let me just go in, I'll do provisional, there's none. So there's a lot, I guess, on probation. So let me go back to just continuing and that's that. So you get to see your results, you get to go to it and you get to like look at all of the different requirements and information that is important to you. So how much does it cost, right? That's really important. The type of degree that's being required of you, which is a bachelor's degree. Um, how many shadowing hours, is it required or recommended? And this is recommended. How many evaluations are required, which is the three, and all of these will go through CASPA. And so the beauty of this app is the fact that it allows you to kind of pre-set yourself up. So a lot of the pre-PAs that I do consultation sessions with, they're like, oh, okay, like how do I keep track of my hours? Or, you know, in terms of when I'm adding in my GPA or adding my courses, like how do I know what my science GPA is as opposed to my overall GPA? This app does that for you without having to actually go and make a CASPA application to figure all of that stuff out. You put all this information in ahead of time. While you're taking the classes, you can put the information in. It calculates your GPA for you, both overall and science, automatically. And then that way it allows you to see the schools that you would qualify for. So when you actually are ready to go and put this information into CASPA, now you're not scrambling to try to figure out, okay, well, is this a good program for me to apply to? What are my chances here? the app does the work for you. So I'm really excited about this app. I'm definitely going to use it in my consultation sessions. I'm going to tell people to get it. Um, and as a Christmas present to you, my PA box has allowed me to give you guys a promo code. It is Adana the PA. <laughs> so you get to use Adana the PA promo code to get 15% off of the cost of the app and you get the app for a year. So it's an annual subscription. So just, you know, if you don't get in, God forbid, the first time around, you know, you use it again and, um, you know, hopefully you'll get in that second time around. But with this app, I'm pretty sure that it's going to make your chances a lot better 
of picking the right schools for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I will leave the link for the promo code in the description box below and the link for my PA box as well. If you guys have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for following me on this journey and always rooting for me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I hope you guys have a happy holidays. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!